Okay, <clears throat> so we finished our project one, and now we're going to go further with our project. So when I'm opening ZBrush here, uh, you see that I, I see this thing here in the way. I don't I don't really want that there anymore. We're going to open up our project from before. So this here, this thing that you see with all these projects is called the light box. So I'm going to click this button. It says light box, and that will disappear. I want to go up here to where it says load tool. And here is my last name with my basic body one. I click open. And then what I want to do is click and drag. And the character fills the screen. Now from this point, I want to click edit. If I don't click edit, like if I turn this off, Then you'll start seeing I'm adding these and adding these and adding these and nothing else. I'm not able to edit them. It just adds them. If I click edit from this point after I've added so many of them. I can edit one of them, but I don't know which one, right? So if I ever get in this state, I simply go to document, new document. I don't want to save changes. And I click and drag. And there it's added, and I click Edit. And that's it. Okay. So uh, we have here, we have our arms. Remember, our arms were a little long. Um, I think what we can do, let's see. I think if we click, you'll notice as you're working this little arrow. Sometimes people click this where it says Start, this little arrow that points down, and this one points down. Let's see. Not chest, but we'll do shoulders. Yes, shoulders, chest, lower arms, and hands. And I think if I do this and click shoulders and click move, that this will actually, no, it doesn't. So never mind. I want to unclick these. I don't need them. I don't need that on. And I'm not sure exactly what that part does. but. I'm going to take my uh, shoulders here, and I am going to push them back into place. I want to position these into a place that I like, which is more, let's see. If I click floor, I should be able to see. I'm not seeing my drawing anymore. I think I can load these up again. Let's see here. Floor in the draw menu. I can go to front, and back, map one. Click import. Do the same with the left to right side view here. Import. Flip that. Okay. And I can see it in the side view. Think if I click here, transparent. Yes, that will make everything kind of see through ish. Everything else that's not selected. You'll also notice that everything is red. And it's like, wait a minute, it looks different than it looked before. It was white before. That can be changed here. In the material editor, we can click right here, material, and then select basic material. It'll turn it back to white. So here's my upper arms. I'm going to rotate. Lower arms, I'm going to also rotate those.
Here we go. And then hands. Move those as well. Rotate. Remember this circle will rotate it. Okay, and um, let's see, if I go down to the bottom and my feet, I think I want to rotate those. I'm moving them into position. Now, I don't want to, I don't need to get super, super duper about all this. I'm switching to my draw mode here um, because I am going to start manipulating them. Um, so. I'll go back to, uh, let's see, I'll go to my shoulders, and I'm going to switch my brush. If I click here on my brush, the standard brush, it says. If I click it, I get this whole menu. If I click with the menu open, if I click M, I can focus on a move brush, and I want to do this move topological. I'll select that, move topological. And I can start moving things around here. Okay. So we're starting to use our brush. If I look up here at the top, I can see where it says draw size. I can I can move that. And I'm, I see that my topology is on. X turns it on and off. And I'm just going to simply pull and shape this to be a basic body shape, right? Mm -hmm. Right, my draw size, I can change it by also clicking the S, clicking S once, and this draw size appears wherever I'm at. So I can make this big, I can make it medium, I can make it small. We're gonna work mostly big. Um, let's see, my lower arms, I'm going to kind of make them a little flat here. And I'm gonna remember that I did a, if I look at my drawing, that, that kind of um, diamond shape to them, right? Go down to the hands. And go S and make this smaller. And make them kind of flat. The hands. Fingers I'll worry about later. My plan is to make one finger and then make copies of it. All right. Let's look at our upper legs. S as I, I did to change my drawing size. And I'm just building these up. And remember, look at how I, I drew that, where it's kind of curved on the front, almost flat on the back. That was that straight against curve thing that we were talking about, right?
All right, now I'll go to the lower legs. And again, that diamond shape I was looking at. And again, if you're doing something that's cartoony, you don't have to pay attention to this. I'm doing this to the shape of what I'm doing. Let's see, and I want it. Hold in, here's the calf. Here's Achilles. Okay, and then we'll go down to the feet. I'll make a heel that comes up. Top of the foot here. Let's look at the bottom. We got this that comes out here. We got our big toe. Okay. Oops. All right. Let's look at we'll get into the basics. We'll look at the the, the chest. Traps a little bit. Um, let's look at stomach. Oops. Uh oh. Now you notice when I was working on this, look at that. I don't have my symmetry on. So I'm going to click X. Make sure I'm working on both sides at the same time. And pelvis. Okay, let's look at the head. And I'm just going, it's easy to get caught up in the details when working with the head. We're not going to, we're going to stick to a very basic shape. I can go into the side view here. view and neck Let's come up here Coming back on the chest. We'll turn off this um, transparency. Mm. 
Smooth this out. Let's see, same with the head. He's smooth here. I don't need all this stuff in there yet. We're still working this out, but we've made some progress here. Look at uh, what we've done. We've uh, made a, a whole We've made this into the shape, a basic shape, a basic body shape. It's a lot closer than it was before when we were working with just spheres, right? Spheres. So, um, good. What are we going to do at this point? We are going to uh, go to Z plugin. We're going to go to Subtool Master. And we'll click Save Z Tool. We'll call this. Our last name, Basic Body 2, and save. And now when we go to close up uh, ZBrush, it'll ask us, do we want to save the Z project? No, we don't need to save it. We've already saved it as a Z tool. All right, thank you. If you have any questions, any problems, feel free to email me.